Hi, greetings. Hey, how are you doing, friends? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to this week's blog post where I'm just giving you an update on how I'm getting on with my 2016 health goal of being in bed by 10.30. Natahu here from Yoga Inspires over in London. And there's Peggy, my daughter's rabbit. I'm not sure if you can see Peggy, but she is Peggy. She's in the screen as well. Yeah. Okay. So, um, I chose this goal to be in bed by, by 10.30 because I need to sleep. Basically, my body's been running the energy on reserves for too long and I need to sleep. But it's proving quite difficult for me to actually organise my time so I can be in bed before 10.30. And again, I took a, in my journal, I've been writing down my bedtimes for this week and I've got 12.20. 12.20, 12.45, 11.08, and that was brilliant. I was upstairs actually in my bed before 11 o'clock, and I was sort of sitting there thinking, okay, this felt really good. And I woke up the following morning really, really refreshed. And it's when I wake up feeling so refreshed that I know that's one of the reasons why I want to be in bed earlier, just to wake up feeling refreshed and energised. It's, oh, it's powerful, it's really beautiful. Um, 11.45, 10.45 and last night was one that was all time like I got 3 o'clock because I'm working on my programme so it took me a bit of a while to actually get it done. But one of the things I'm really, really thankful for um, in trying to get to bed earlier is making me look at my whole kind of like self-care. How am I really looking after myself? What foods am I eating? Am I nourishing myself? Am I giving myself what I know really feeds and nourishes my soul? And I'm realising it's sleeping and not drinking enough water. They're, the, for me, my two weak links of the train, of the chain. Breathing's fine. I exercise, do my yoga. You know, I do eat reasonably well. And for me, it's the sleeping and the water. So next month, I'm going to focus on drinking more water. But this month, it's still working on that healthy habit of being in bed by 10.30. One of the best things I've really appreciated is getting back into my kind of like yoga practice in the mornings. Um, you know, physically getting the mat out and doing, I've been doing at least 30 minutes, 45 minutes of practice most mornings. And again, that again, that just feels really great to physically get out on the mat and do the yoga as opposed to just sort of um, do like sun salutations or just doing some sort of stretches. But to actually go through a whole yoga sequence, that, that is really, really great. Um, yeah, I'm feeling kind of tired. It's a Friday afternoon, so I'm going to write this blog post up. And then I'm actually going to have an early night. And I recognise when I feel this tired, that um, just to honour the body. So if you're going through something and your body's telling you to rest, yeah, just, just rest. Really, truly, all you've got to do is just down tools and rest. So I think that's my message to share today, is the power of rest. Yeah? Where's we got Peggy? Oh, hello darling. She wants to get on the screen as well. There she is. Can you see her? Whoopsie. Okay, so for me and from Peggy, please make time this weekend to really just rest. Yeah? R-E-S-T. Find out what it means to you. <laughs> Take care, namaste, and thank you. Bye now. Take care. Cheers. Bye.